Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing lesson 13.2 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. That is going to be page 501 and 502 in your big math book. So if you're in my class, you should be filling those out as we go along. And lesson 13.2 is called Area. So we're going to find the area of a figure. Um, the area means the inside part. So perimeter is around the outside edges. Area is everything in the middle of the shape. Okay, so here's some information that we need to know in order to do this correctly. The base B of a two-dimensional figure can be any side. The height H is the measure of a perpendicular line segment from the base to the top of the figure. Perpendicular, remember, is like this. It forms a 90-degree angle. So when we're using the formula for area, you need to know which one's the base and which one's the height. They will meet at a 90 degree angle. Okay, then it tells us area is the number of square units needed to cover a flat surface. A square unit is a square that is one unit long and one unit wide. To find the area of a figure, count the number of square units inside the figure. So if we looked in here and we're finding the area, you would just count how many blocks there were inside. But there's an easier way to do that, which we're gonna learn in just a second. So how are the base height and area of a rectangle, rectangle related is the question. So we're going to complete the table to find the area of these shapes. So the base, the bottom, they said is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to find the height, which is 1, 2, 3. 3 units. The area, they would want you to count 5, 10, 15. 15, and then when it's area, you have to say square units. All right, next one. The base over here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, eight units. The height is one, two, two units. So eight and eight is 16 square units. And the last one here, the base, one, two, three units. The height, one, two, three units. The area, three, six, nine square units. Now, I don't know if you realized that to find the area here, all I had to do was 5 times 3. So multiply the base times the height. Or 8 times 2, which gives me 16. Base times height. Or 3 times 3 gives me 9. Base times height. So what relationship do you see among the base height and the area? When I multiply... The base and the height, I get the area. So multiply the base and height to get the area. And number two, write a formula for the area of a rectangle. Use the letter A for area, B for base, and H for height. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to show using the letters multiply base times height. They said B is for base times H is for height will give us the area, which they said is an A. So my formula for area is base times height. Area equals base times height. All right, let's flip it over and look at page 502. 
So you can see on page 502, they came up with the same formula that we came up with. So to find the area, I do the base times the height. So we're going to use that formula for A and B. So area equals base times height. My base is 6. My height is 2. 6 times 2 is 12. So the area is 12. And don't forget to put square. And this time it's feet. Square feet. Okay. B. Area equals base times height. My base is 2. My height is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So the area is 4 square, and this time it's meters. Okay, so finding the area is pretty simple. It's just taking us back to regular multiplication problems. In order to find the area, you just multiply the base times the height. And remember, the area is talking about all this space that is being covered in the center of these shapes. That's what area is. So all the area, I think of this like a fence around a playground, all the area that you have to play on in the playground. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.